Hi, this is Tim, and today we're going to go through the basic bit instructions that really make up probably 80% of PLC programs, and that's the XIC, Examine If Close, XIO, Examine If Open, and OTE, Output Energize instruction. And we're not going to go through the latches or the OSRs, this will be in a later video, but we want to take a deep dive into how these instructions actually work. Now, if you're looking for the quick answer, an XIC looks to see if an input's on, an XIO looks to see if an input's off, and an OTE turns on an output. But there's a lot more to it than that. Now, a few things before we get started. One, we have our trainer wired with our basic getting started guide still. Uh, it's really important if you really want to grasp this that you watch the previous uh, How the PLC Scans video because there's a lot in there about how the PLC actually functions and how it is going to work with these. Now a lot of this we're going to go through really quick because I have thorough videos on it already but I'll put links to you how to create a program, how to connect to your PLC, how to download it so if it feels like it's really fast paced look in the description. We've got links to all of that and of course you have a pause button. Now to start with we're going to create a new program and we'll just give it a name of bits and we're going to go it's a 1763 Micrologics 1100 series b and then depending on which trainer you have in the case of one we're working with right now we don't have any expansion modules on it but we are going to configure our channel configuration and we're going to disable boot p and we're going to go 192, 168, 110, which is what you've been using in all the other lessons. And a subnet of 255, 255, 255, zero. And we're going to download it. So we go to Systems Communications. And we're going to use the Ethernet IP driver. Actually, I need to clear out my Harmony files. You can see there's been a bunch of PLCs that we've been working with. But there it is. We're going to download it. And we'll need to save it. And we do want to apply the channel configuration. And then we're going to switch to run mode. And this kind of gets us to where we were at with our blank program in our last video. And so now we're going to do an online edit. Now, like I said, I already have the PLC wired here. So I'm actually going to flip it around. see all our buttons and I'm going to open up the data file just to show you right now I have button 1 to input 0, button 2 to input 1, button 3 to input 2, and button 4 to input 3. Uh, and then if we jump over here to the output data table and just like we learned in the previous video if I put a 1 and output 0 you can see we get a green light and if I put a 1 in the yellow you can see the yellow light comes on I put a 1 in 2 you can see the red light comes on and I put a 1 in 3 you can see the blue light comes on and I go back to the previous video if you don't know what's going on here because we're not using forces this is because we're running a blank program so now we're going to add an XIC instruction. So most everything we're going to need is actually under this user tab. And you see there's a bit tab here and you see it has almost the same stuff. I like the user tab just because it also has the new rung and the branch instruction. But we're going to take and drag a new rung down and then we're going to put in an examine if closed. And then we're going to put in an output energize. And we're going to put in I colon zero backslash zero, which is going to be this button one, and we'll call it the green button. And then for our output, we're going to put O colon zero backslash zero. Now there is no reason these have to match. In fact, let's let's change that up a little bit. Let's let's make this O colon zero backslash one just to show that the input number and the output number don't need to match. It's just coincidence because of the way this trainer is wired. And so that is going to be our yellow light. Now, just like we learned in online editing, we'll select this checkbox, which is accept current rung edits. And then we will do the test edits. And then we're going to go ahead and assemble them. And what that's going to do is now when I press this green button, you see the yellow light come on. 
So now let's do the same, same thing with an examine if open. That way we have them both on here. So we're going to drag a new rung down. And then we'll take the examine if open, bring it down, and we're going to bring another output energized down. And this one, let's go ahead and look at, now uh, let's look at the yellow button. So that would be I colon zero backslash one. And we'll call that the yellow button. And then we'll go over here and let's make this the red light. So that is O colon zero backslash two. Let's call that the red light. Well, same as before, we'll hit the green check box to accept this edit. And we're going to test this edit and we'll go ahead and assemble it. Now we have it so that if you press the green button, the yellow light comes on. And if you press the yellow button, the red light goes off. And really, that on the surface, it is that simple. But we want to take a deeper dive and really understand exactly what is going on here. So what does the XIC instruction do? This one's big time for instructors. The absolute only real incorrect answer is that it is not a normally open contact. Hear that, guys? Scratch that one. I can go with almost anything you say but when we try to take PLC ladder symbols and try to associate them with an electrical symbol, we lose a lot. And that's what causes a large portion of the confusion that you see out there. So the real simple answer is an XIC tells you to go look for a one. So right now this XIC is going to I colon zero slash zero and looking for a one. So if we go over here to our input data file, we'll just drag it here in the middle. You can see that right now we have a zero, and that's why this is false. And so since this is false, the OTE is going to be evaluated as false. Now what does an OTE do if it's false? A lot of people say it does nothing. That's not true. It goes and writes a zero. So even though right now if we go to our output data table, you can see we have a zero right here. Every time this PLC scans and it sees this output instruction, evaluates its faults, it goes right to zero again. So now we're going to hit our green button. Green button comes on. We go back to our input data table. Right now we have a one. So this XIC instruction saying go look for a one. It goes and looks for one, it sees it has a one. So that since all the instructions preceding the OTE are true, the OTE is true. It says go write a one in this box. So it's going to go write a one to O colon zero dot zero slash one. You can see there, it has a one in it. So then you have this XIO instruction. And so what does it stand for? Well, since I've already told you that no matter what, don't think that this is a normally open contact. Same with this. Don't look at it and think that you have a normally closed contact. These are not electrical symbols. These are ladder instructions. So what this does, it says, go look for a zero. We're at an I colon zero dot zero slash one. So if we go there, we can see that right now we have a zero there. And so this is evaluated as true. It doesn't have to be with normally open. It doesn't have to do with what contacts connected to it. All it's saying is go look for a zero. It has a zero, so it's true. The OTE is true coming in, so it says go write a one. And we have a one, and that's why we have a red light. So when I press this button, you can see now we have a one and our I colon zero dot zero slash one, which is the yellow button. And since we have a one, and this instruction is saying, go look for a zero, it says, well, I don't have a zero, so I'm false. So the OTE comes in as false, says, go write a zero. And it turns the red light off. Now I know especially a lot of my students are looking now saying, well, um, my instructor just told me it was a normally open and normally closed. Or hey, I, I mean, I have a lot of books I've read that call it a normally open and normally closed. And again, like I've told you many times, do not argue with your instructors. That's a sure way to get a bad grade. But you really need to get this concept through your head. And 
If it causes conflict with your instructors, then just have them call me. I'll talk to them about it. Hope this video has been helpful. In the next video, we're going to go through timer instructions, uh, the TON timer on delay, the TOF timer off delay, and the RTO retentive timer on delay. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.